Yo, 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 what up, fam? Strongest CPA in the state of Florida. I'm back again. What up, fam? This is AFB 34. This is my classic series. This is the best accounting series in the world. Accounting for Beginners 34. If this is your first time, I will link a playlist over here to the best playlist in the world. If you're back, you know what it is. Leg it in, okay? Best shirt in the world. This is accounting for beginners number 34. What is that? Trente Quattro. Mm. Hair on fleek. Alright. <clears throat> it's account accounting for beginners number 34. Classic series, boy. Classic series. Adjusting entries. Kind of for beginners, number 34, the classic series. This would be if you're doing a crude basis, you'd write journal entries for a crude. What's the difference between cash and a crude? Uh, it's cash cash basis when you're when the cash hits your sticky little hands. We'll go over that later. Don't worry about that now. This is just uh, basically I'm going through all the adjusting entries, and I'd be amiss if I leave accrued revenue out, even though I don't really use accrued revenue. It's you know, I got a good night's sleep last night, so I'm feeling whoa. So we're going to do accrued revenue today. Let's go with the def definition of accrued revenue in the book: unrecorded revenue. That has been earned. All right. So I did some work. I did some work. Did some work. What happens when you when you do work for somebody? Get money. Get them chippers. Where are my chippers at, man? But cash has not been received. What? Get my freaking money, man. Ugh. You're gonna get. You know. Hey, do a journal and do a journal entry for for accrued revenue, or it's gonna say. You know. You earn the money. You did the work, but you didn't get paid. What would the journal entry be? It's always the journal entry. It's always gonna be a journal entry. What's the journal entry gonna be? What is the journal entry gonna be? Now, I wrote this on my paper every day. Accrued equals no cash. For maybe a year, okay? I wrote accrued equals no cash. Every, you know, first month, I didn't know. And then all of a sudden I started getting to you know, do a, do a journal entry. You earned the money, but you didn't get cash. You earned, you earned it. You earned the revenue. Did the work, but you didn't get any cash. And I wrote, I wrote a crude equals no cash on my paper every day for like a year. So I, it just, I just started seeing my mnemonic paper in my head, and I said, oh, a crude's no cash. Did the work, didn't get cash. It's crude, crude. Let's accrue something. Mm-hmm. So let's accrue something. Let's accrue it, baby. With my mnemonic page that I wrote every day for about a year. Every day for about a year. Um, <clears throat> and I used to write on the top of it, uh, sacrifice, hustle, grind. You know, they say you're a piece of shit. They say you can't do it. You should be dead. I wrote all this stuff. Cause I didn't feel I didn't feel like studying every day, man. I didn't feel like going to work, coming home from work and studying. But I write all that stuff in my paper. I write this in my paper every morning, and I also write DCA LUR. It's kind of what I'm known for. If you don't know, go back to old videos. DCA LUR, debit, credit, asset, drug, expense, liability, equity, revenue. All right, let's get to the problem. Enough talking, right? Ain't. All right, accrued revenue, unrecorded revenue that has been earned. So I did work. Cash not received. I didn't get shippers. Accrued equals no cash. That's what you're gonna write on your paper along with this, so you can remember. If you can't remember, so already this is starting out to be some be some trash, okay? Because I work and I didn't get my money. How am I gonna take my girl? How am I gonna take my girl out for that two? You know, the Applebee's Applebee's tw two for twenty. How am I gonna do that when I didn't get my money? I'm gonna tell my girl, oh, we can't go to Applebee's because I didn't get paid. <clears throat> I'm not at that Ruth Chris level yet. Uh, December 15th, so middle of the month, I meet with a client. 
They say, okay, I'm gonna do a monthly bookkeeping for you for $100. Great, great, JD, that's awesome. I heard you're the best, best uh, CPA around. You heard right, yes I am. Now this is like a textbook example because if this was real life, I would just prorate somebody, meaning I would just bill them for half a month, $50 on December 31st. That's what I would do, I would prorate. But, and you know, it, <clears throat> anyways, December 31st, we're closing our books, we're trying to get our, we're trying to get our, uh, the best representation of our, of our business, money-wise, expenses, revenue, what you owe, this, everything, the balance sheet, the income statement, because we got to give it to our CPA to do the taxes. The hard thing about this is there's no starting entry for it. You know, usually the adjusting entries, there's an entry at first and then we adjust, but with this one, there's not. See? No entry. I guess you just have an engagement letter or something. So what I'm saying is at the end of the period, how would you know to write this? I guess you would go and be like, oh, I've done all this work. Or who owes me money? I mean, I always know who owes me money. So I'd be like, who owes me some fucking money? So anyways, you're gonna do 100 a month, come December 31st, you've done a half, half a month's work for $50. You want to put that on, you want to make a journal entry and you want to put that on your books to have an accurate representation of your business at the 1231 date. How, how are we going to do this journal entry? Did we get any cash? No, that's why we're accruing shit. We didn't get cash yet. God damn it. Hate it. Not getting cash. All right. What happened here? Let's just go and what happened over here? I did bookkeeping for a hundred months, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, December 31st, I did a half month's work for $50. $50. I'm gonna start over, I'm gonna start with the credit first. Sometimes I start with debits, sometimes I start with credits. You know, it just depends. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the credit here. I'm gonna start with the credit. So you did a half month of what? Half a month of work. I did bookkeeping, that's what I do every month, that's my normal stuff, that's my revenue. I am uh, doing an accrued thing, so I'm gonna count. I did the work, and I'm gonna put revenue over here for the credit, fifty dollars. There's the revenue, positive in a credit form. Let's think about this. What if you did get cash on the revenue? If you did get cash, you would put it's an asset. You would put uh, fifty dollars cash right here. Done. Well, then you you know then you really wouldn't uh, be accruing anything because you would get the cash. That didn't happen here. Give me the cash. Give me the cash, man. So I basically fronted my workout. You didn't get the cash. They owe you the cash. You've been doing examples and you know what happens when someone owes you money or something that owes you something. Um, it's an account receivable. Account receivable. We just did a bunch of account receivables. Ah, uh, you use that every now and then, account receivable. Account receivable, we know, is an asset, and that's gonna be our debit, because we didn't get the cash, they owe us the cash. Journal entry here for doing, doing work, not getting paid, the amount of $50. We did the work, so we're going to recognize the revenue, we're gonna put the, the credit's gonna be the revenue. We didn't get paid. We need the money. We have an account receivable, even though no one's going to ever pay us. We're just going to close our business down. $50 debit. $50 debit accounts receivable is the debit. The credit for $50 revenue. Anyways, thank you very much for watching me again. I love doing these, and hopefully I am getting better and better every time. And I just love doing these. I can't. Peace.